Hi, my name is Carmen Brody. I'm the VP of Clinical Operations at Removery. The feeling of laser tattoo removal is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I would say it's rubber band snaps, lots of them really quickly for two to five minutes. If you've ever had hair removal done before, very, very similar. So hyperpigmentation or darkening of the skin or hypopigmentation, which is the loss of melanin in certain parts of the skin, can happen as a result of tattoo removal. And it's not the tattoo removal itself, it's more so how somebody takes care of it afterwards. So if you have a laser session and you go directly into the sun, um, the likelihood of hypopigmentation is much higher. Um, so, you know, following aftercare, making sure that you're not in the sun after a treatment is a really good idea and a good way to avoid uh, issues. Generally with hypopigmentation, if somebody's starting to get a little bit of hypopigmentation, at first it's transient, meaning, meaning that it's not a permanent issue. So if they go according to their technician's recommendations, they wait for a while, we let that let subside, we let the melanin come back, then we can go about tattoo removal and there's no issue. If somebody pushes and they still want to have removal, that's when you get into the permanent hypopigmentation, which is not anything that anybody likes. Um, a lot of times we'll see it also coming from businesses who don't specialize in this uh, treatment and they'll just go in there as strong as they can. They blow all the melanin away and there's no way to repair that. My name is Carmen Brody. I'm the VP of Clinical Operations at Removery.